you seen Samsung's 360 cassette? This right here is an indoor unit. This is a heat pump, and this is called a 360 ceiling cassette. Today I'm doing a startup process. I've been on this project for a couple weeks, and I've installed three of these ceiling cassettes. I want to show you all those cassettes today, talk about the startup process, the reason I use this cassette, and I'm going to be doing a video on this venue because it's beautiful, and I think the project turned out great. I'm happy to install Samsung because I believe that Samsung is a brand that offers what no other brand offers, like designs like this that fit the interior better and offer a better suit for the application. So this is the indoor unit, blows around all 360 degrees, it's got a couple of airflow patterns to choose from like throwing it wide or mid-range or straight down, which is amazing. Let's take a look at the outdoor unit and then I'm going to talk to you about Samsung's startup process. If you want to learn more, you're a technician, check out my playlist, Tips for Technicians. If you are a homeowner and you want to learn more about your unit at home, check out my playlist, Tips for Homeowners. Uh, this right here is the outdoor unit for that 360 ceiling cassette. And these are the other two units here, these bigger condensers. Those are both four-ton units. Uh, they do, whether it's residential, commercial, they do around the 2,000, uh, 2,400 square foot range. This little 18,000 BTU, depending on your application, whether it's residential or commercial, it'll do around 500, 600 square foot. All right, this outdoor unit we just installed, and I have got a couple wires here that are underneath the terminals for F1 and F2, and F1 and F2 is 0.5 to 0.7 volts DC communication voltage. And the reason I've got these two wires hooked up uh, to my SNET converter box, all right, is because I'm using a program called SNET Pro 2 and I'm using that to check all the parameters, make sure the unit is running properly and if I have an error code on my display here then I'm able to go to SNET Pro and look at my error codes All right, uh, from the help tab. So that's fantastic. I look at my error codes, uh, look at what the error code means I can actually uh, show you here. Hold on just a sec. All right, I'm going to scroll over here and hit error codes. And then it brings error codes up. Watch this. Look at that. E101 to upwards of E900. So I'm able to check and see what the error code means. Now I'm using my K switch. I've got K1, 2, 3, and 4. I've got my dial set to 1. i got one indoor unit. I like to set the dial to 1. And then K1, I push K1. It shows me this. And it's going through test mode. And that's one fantastic benefit to using Samsung. Unit goes to a test mode, displays error code if it has an error, if we have an issue. But we're not going to have any issues. Why? Because we do a good install. And that's what matters. So this is an 18,000 BTU unit. This is a 4-ton, 48,000 BTU unit. 48,000 BTU unit. All right, now let's take a look inside and let's see what all 60 cassettes look like that go to these two larger units here. All right, let's go take a look. It's a beautiful day. It's nice and warm. I don't have any rain. It's fantastic. Hopefully this door is unlocked here. Let's go inside. Oh yeah. All right, come on. All right, so first 360 cassette is right there in between this beautiful chandelier. And then we have another 360 cassette right here. Let's go upstairs and take a closer look so you guys can see what this looks like. Again, I'm going to do a video about this venue because it's a beautiful venue. I want you to meet the owners and I want them to talk about the Samsung 360 cassettes and why they chose the cassettes. I think the reason they chose the cassettes is they couldn't find anything else that was like the 360 cassettes. And it means a lot because it really adds to the aesthetics. And it's black. We have a black fascia panel. Now you can get um, several different colors, and I think that makes a difference. Um, but as far as the functions and the operations, I think this thing is unmatched when it comes to heating and cooling. Blows around 10 to 15 feet, 360 degrees, and can blow it straight down can blow mid-range, can blow wide. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And with this thing on for just 
There's one cassette right there, and then one cassette right there. With this thing on for literally two hours, both units on. And this is quite a big venue here, this area. With just on for two hours, it's, it gets chilly in here. So that tells you something. All right, let's go back outside. Talk a little bit more about Samsung 360 ceiling cassette. We'll go look at the other cassette one more time real quick. And then I'll end this video. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave those in the comments. And if you want to support me, check out my Patreon. Okay, I give tips and I try to help people in the field, technicians like me. New equipment can be rough sometimes, learning is hard, but you know what? You got user manuals, you got installation manuals. And that's another reason I like Samsung. They have all the information you need. And that matters, it really does. All right, let's take a look at this cassette one more time. That is beautiful. I mean, beautiful. And this is a, basically a little grain bin. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Units on cooling, let's change the airflow. Blue indicators working. Sounds quiet. Good deal. This is a wireless handheld remote controller. This is the control that I chose to operate the Samsung 360 ceiling cassettes on this project. Samsung has several different control options from wired controllers to wireless controllers to building management systems. There are Wi-Fi built in to Samsung units. So now you can use a app at a remote location to control your system. Let's talk about the control that I used with this project for the Samsung ceiling cassettes and do an overview, talk about the features. Let's do it. You got your wireless remote controller, you got your wireless remote control holder, put this in the area where the indoor unit is and then you have your remote controller up on the wall somewhere and it's there for you to take it out of the holder. Then when you take it out, you got your power button. You push power and the screen lights up. You've got your set temperature. You go down to temperature, you hit it, and then it blinks, and then you can adjust it by turning the dial left or right. When you find a setting that works for you, you push set. Easy as that. You got your mode just to switch between your different operations. Auto, you control heating and cooling at the same time. Cooling, dry mode, fan, heat. Dry is if you have a little bit, little bit more humid days, then you can turn it on dry and remove some more of that moisture and that's a setting that Samsung offers I don't know of many other brands that offer all these features on one remote controller but let's keep going airflow airflow pattern can be changed we can swing we can throw the air straight down we can do a little mid range throw there and wide so several patterns of airflow there just to change of a button that's fantastic all right so fan speed let's go to fan speed we can adjust fan speed here we've got several bars to indicate low medium or high auto is where the indoor fan can automatically adjust so that's more efficient but we might want it to cool down really quick might want to turn the fan speed all the way up we got a timer you can set timers and then you've got your celsius or fahrenheit you just hold this button for three seconds switch it back over to celsius don't lie, you can't tell Celsius. You gotta keep it on Fahrenheit. But I won't tell anybody, don't worry. All right, so mode, cool, dry, fan, heat, auto. That is an overview of the remote controller. You can have different zones. So this wireless remote controller can control up to three or four uh, Samsung ceiling cassettes, which is awesome. You can also have a wired controller. I'll show you a wired controller. We're at my aquaponic indoor grow facility, which I'll give you a tour if you hang on. This right here is a wire controller made by Samsung. And this is a four-way ceiling cassette. That was a 360, this is a four-way. This is my indoor grow facility. I've got a pepper plant here growing and it is all bushy, but it's creating some nice, delicious peppers. Look at this. This is aquaponics. If you want to learn more about aquaponics, you need to check out my Patreon. Links in the description. I show you there how to build an aquaponics system, how to maintain, what supplies I use. And this is a very, very sustainable method of farming, agriculture. 
I have got some giant koi fish inside of this tank. Oh, you're hungry, aren't you? Let's take a look at the roots. Healthy. Stay healthy, stay happy. Don't forget to water your plants. All right, take a look at the outdoor units one more time. And I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips if you're a technician, stay on here. I wanna to talk to you for just a minute, okay? When you're installing a Samsung split heat pump system, there's a few things I want you to keep in mind. I went over this in other videos and tips for technicians, but I just wanna go over it again. So if you're watching, you know. All right, so the first thing is, is you always have to check your flares to make sure they're not leaking. If you have flares, you need to pressure test with nitrogen. You need to pressure test using 500 PSIG. You don't need to use two or 300, you need to use 500. And you need to make sure that these don't leak. So they need to hold that 500 for at least an hour. All right, so F1 and F2 has a ground, all right? And the ground, you can't see it because this other wire's in the way here, but the ground looks like that right there. I'll show you, let me move this out of the way. See that ground right there? Looks like little aluminum. Uh, it goes with the shielded cable, I believe it's 16 AUG, 16 two. And it has a ground and that's grounded at the outdoor unit and not at the indoor unit. Remember that, you need to remember that. Also polarity matters. So if you, you choose to do red F1, black F2, do the same thing inside. You wanna make sure you don't have any uh, communication errors. Uh, it's very important. You also don't need to run this wire in the same uh, conduit as another high voltage wire, just because. You don't also don't wanna splice this. Don't splice this, okay? Get a roll of 250 foot if you have to. Get a roll of 500 foot. Never splice that. Those are a few tips, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that if you have any questions about Samsung, you go check out their website. Link is in the description. I want you guys to use really good brands to install so that you don't have issues. And when you do have issues, you have support. I always get support from Samsung and that matters because when I have a customer that has a need, I need to make sure that I resolve the issue quick. And that matters in the field. It's hot, okay? It's really, really cold. So that provides us with a little bit of a push, right? So guys, thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, I'm here, let me know. Thank you.